Jamboard is reaching end of life. And in the next few months, you're going to be restricted to only having read-only access to your jams. And eventually, all those old jams will be deleted. Now, Google have some automated things happening in the background, like converting your jams to PDFs. And I don't know, maybe some of them will be put into your Google Drive uh, rather than being deleting outright. But Jamboard is dead and we've got to move on to the next thing. Now, personally, I've been a big fan of Jamboard. I love collaborating visually. If you see here in my Jamboard account, I have many, many files that I've created over the years and it's been really, really useful for our business as we've grown and scaled, particularly for strategy, particularly for a remotely distributed team. The challenge is sometimes a product doesn't really hit the right mark in terms of users for Google and they decide in order to keep their business nice and efficient, they got to kill off some products. Now, we have many conversations about that on the channel. I'm not going to have a big whinge fest about that right now. Jamboard is one of them and that sucks. It sucks for people who spent 10 grand buying a Jamboard, which uh, I didn't spend that much. I got one second hand. But they were awesome digital whiteboards that lived in your office and allowed you to collaborate with these files live. Okay, that's changed now. No longer there anymore. What do we do? Google have given us some options to export our jams. I'll show you what the help article looks like with the options on where to send them. Now there's three applications that have been made available with integrations that will let you transfer and convert them. There's FigJam, there's Lucid, and there's Miro. Now I've used FigJam once or twice. I've used Miro a number of times. I haven't personally used Lucid. And I think either one of these tools is probably gonna work well for you, like we recommend on the channel. If you want to choose one of them effectively, you use our process for choosing technology. You open up a spreadsheet and you put down the pros and the cons and the features that you're looking for, and you start to rate and give these guys a rigorous checking with your criteria to make sure that based on your criteria, you're picking the right software. You would also do a demo and test them, see how they feel, see how, see how you like them, do a few practice things. And yeah, sure, that takes time. It's a little bit annoying to have to do it, but that's the most thorough way of choosing software that is gonna last you the time. I would also look at these apps and look at, well, what are the user numbers for them? Is the company growing? Are they raising capital and doing well? Because if a business continues to grow, they're probably still gonna be around as a product in another five years. We don't wanna put all of our files into an app and then have it disappear in five years time. For the most part, Google are pretty trustworthy with that, but they do kill things from time to time, right? My personal opinion here is the only thing that is missing from this list of compatible apps is Canva. I would really love to use Canva for all of my jams moving forward, rather than one of these third-party apps. I don't have a specific use for FigJam or Miro or Lucid right now in the business. We are already using Canva for a lot of our design work and Canva has a great whiteboarding feature. I would prefer to use Canva and my pick right now is to use Canva for all of my whiteboarding and designs and live brainstorming because the team already know how to use it. Many of them in many different areas of the business are making use of it. And let me tell you, Canva are gonna be in everybody's business in the next decade. They are making great strides at building Canva into a workplace and collaborative suite of tools that not only are gonna help you do design tasks, but they're gonna start eating the lunch of people like Google with other parts of our business collaboration ecosystem. Now, big thumbs up for Canva. I'm really happy for them, especially since they're founded in my hometown, Sydney. But what do we do with our jams? Well, for me, I'm probably gonna to have to export them as PDF and move them over manually into Canva because for now, that's the choice I've decided to go with. I might pay for one license for Miro and convert them there just so I've got a better level of conversion that hasn't been cut and pasted or done manually. But apart from that, I'm probably not gonna be continuing with any of these three apps because I don't have a use for it for other areas of the business. As much as possible, we wanna keep our subscription costs down so we don't end up with subscription overwhelm. And the number of apps that you use in your business, you wanna keep down as well, just for the ease of rolling out and compatibility and the IT management overhead when you have app after app after app popping up and being used in your business. I'm gonna stick with Canva for my jams. I'm still sad about Google killing Jamboard, but we've got some good alternatives out there to move forward with, which is pretty good. If you liked this video, we've got plenty more on the channel covering this topic and much, much more.